Here we go with some shoulders. The first thing I always do for my shoulder routine is the military press. It's kind of the grandfather of all shoulder exercises. It hits all the heads. Now, we've trained biceps and we've trained chest. Everybody wants the big arms. Your chest is the main focus. It kind of centers everybody's eyes. When you look at somebody, it's the center of the body. But you've got to have the good shoulders to cap off that, the top of the physique. Good wide shoulders. Everybody wants them. I'm going to show you how to get them. So, let's get started. Now, you start with a light warm-up weight. Something that's easy to handle. 10 to 12 repetitions. Here we go. do four sets, 10 to 12 repetitions, just like on chest, just like on all these exercises. Shoulder width apart, too close in, and when you come down, it's going to put pressure on your elbow. That's why you want it 90 degrees when you come down. If you go out too wide, it's going to start to involve too much of the outer part of your shoulder and the rotator cuff, which you don't want to involve. So it's always shoulder width apart when you come down, you just come down to right there. You don't need to come down all the way like that. If you come down too far, it disengages your shoulder and puts it into more of the tendons and more of your triceps and more of your elbows. Upon pushing up, you're breathing out. Come down, you breathe in. Blow out hard. Blow out strong. What that's going to also do is give you the power you need to push that up. You want to never go too heavy. And you always want a spotter. I use the Smith machine for that reason especially that reason. With the Smith machine, it's isolated. I can concentrate on the shoulder. I don't have to worry about balancing or anything like that. I'm in this for the long haul. I'm not in this for injuries. The Smith machine helps to prevent a lot of those injuries from happening. Good. Set number two. Good. So am I. Shoulder width apart. Push up, breathe out. As you come down, breathe in. Out. Notice my elbows, 90 degrees. When I come up, breathing out, I never lock my arms. You never lock your arms, they're always a little bit bent. That takes all the pressure off the elbow and keeps it on the shoulder. Taking a 60 second break. Always, 60 second break. That's all you need. No more than that. 